think I think that actually that is a very good uh, dimension to also look at uh, application modernization, right? So we've talked about people, we've talked about infrastructure, but then there's also the delivery or software engineering practices. So that's where agile comes in, right? And even and and you're right. You know, de again, depending on the domain, depending on the maturity of the uh, organization and the how quickly things need to change. There might be a need to bring in more agile development uh, uh, methods, right? So again, uh, a very good um, way of thinking about it is if your users demand, like if you need to make changes very quickly to in a fast moving environment, right? So you might be building a customer facing application, maybe a, a banking application or social network or, or something like that, right? Here, you get very rapid feedback from your customers on how things are going. Let's say an e-commerce application, right? You're building an e-commerce application and uh, it's being used by hundreds of thousands of uh, users, um, which is not a huge application, but it's still a substantial number of users. You get feedback all the time on how your website is behaving, what your mobile experience is. In that case, having a delivery organization that can only release stuff every quarter or every six months is going to be problematic. Right, because your users are going to very quickly churn to some other e-commerce vendor. But if you're building military technology, or if you're building something that uh, has very strict guidelines about how it needs to be built, how it needs to be tested, and and so on, or which doesn't need to change very often, then you know uh, it's more a case of having uh, a more predictable and a secure and a sort of well-oiled uh, way of uh, delivering software, right? The the challenge is where these two worlds meet, where you have a delivery organization that is not able to uh, deliver at a velocity that is expected by either the leadership uh, or more problematically by their end users. They're giving you feedback. They want some changes to be made, but the way that your delivery organization is set up uh, means that it takes months uh, in order for you to make uh, changes and, and to release it. And this is often because you may have um, uh, very complex code bases that are not really amenable to change without going through a very uh, complex and manual uh, testing cycle. You do not have the uh, appropriate infrastructure uh, in place for CI, CD and, and DevOps and all that kind of stuff, which really helps uh, move uh, the velocity of the team faster, or you might just have a culture where things just take time, where everything has to be designed up front, and you know it's a sort of a, uh, still in a waterfall type uh, method. Now, people often talk about agile as being the golden bullet, but often it's not, right? Like you, you may have situations where you do need to do a lot of upfront uh, effort around. Um, uh, design and, and planning and delivery and budgeting and all this kind of stuff. And, and Agile is not appropriate in that sense. But like I said, the problem is from an application modernization perspective, you might need to modernize your delivery practices because your current delivery team is not able to cope up with the expectations of your users. And this might be because of the way that your code base is structured, the way that your software engineering team is structured, uh, or it might be a cultural uh, thing within the organization uh, itself. 